Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 30th of May. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather not quite as hot today. Got a few tiny showers around, but basically not much change here through the weekend, but we hope we see a change toward the end of next week. Fairly high confidence we do in the upper air pattern. Here's the look now, though. Familiar situation. We have the ridge across the southeast, centered over Florida, troughing to the north and west. A short wave kind of beating down the ridge a little bit today. There's the visible satellite view, and you can see a field of cumulus clouds across the state. And a few of those have formed the showers, but not many. Most places are dry. But temperatures are below where they've been in recent days. We've got mostly 80s on the board today. The exceptions, Tuscaloosa and Montgomery, they've got 93, but 88 for Birmingham, Anniston, and Gadsden. And around the region and the nation, the hottest weather on the South Atlantic coast, they're scorching over there, places like Charleston and Wilmington, heating up across the high plains, but still pretty cool up in the northeast and out in the western states. Here's the watch warning map. Got a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Otherwise, things pretty quiet today. The weather's starting to calm down finally. But still, we've got a chance of severe storms up in that region, the middle Atlantic coast region, and for parts of west and southwest Texas and southeast New Mexico. Tomorrow, a couple of risks, one around the Great Lakes, one over North Carolina and Virginia. And on day three, Saturday, just a marginal risk, lowest in threat for Kansas City, St. Louis, up to near Chicago. Rain for the next seven days. Again, the heavier totals north and west of here. This is showing not much for the state through Thursday morning of next week, and we note drought conditions beginning to creep in. This is the new drought monitor released this morning. We now have moderate drought conditions for parts of east in southeast Alabama, so we could use some rain. But again, there's evidence the pattern starts to break toward the end of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow afternoon at 1. Pretty good little short way passing north of the state, again beating down the ridge. Most of the state dry. Tomorrow, the sky will be partly sunny. And I'd say like today, the high in the upper 80s in most spots, but a few locations could see low 90s. Weather for the weekend looks dry. This is Saturday. This is Sunday. The sky should be sunny both days. Highs between 87 and 90. Let's go to Monday of next week. Again, we're dry. This is Tuesday. Pretty uh, comfortable, really. Uh, lows may be getting in the 50s in a few pockets. Early Tuesday morning as drier air creeps in here. The high Tuesday should be in the 80s. This is Wednesday. We're still dry. And here's a week from today, Thursday, June 6th. Uh, we've still got a ridge axis over us, but it's not as strong as it has been. And again, that looks fairly dry. But we are going to mention at least the chance of a few scattered showers as the ridge begins to weaken. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 9th, and the models are all over the board out here. We've seen different looks. This is showing a big ridge over Canada, and that shows the chance of a few scattered showers and storms. But again, we're seeing signals in the ensemble output that the chances for scattered showers and storms will begin to increase at the end of next week on through mid-June. This is coming off the GFS ensemble. And again, the green, that's the ensemble mean, suggesting over one inch of rain out there, and we'll take that. And the number's not that bad. Uh, mostly upper 80s, close to 90, right on through the middle part of June. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Well, I've notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.